and keep the show going. We'd yes. like to introduce our first speaker for the evening. It would be my honor. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please help us welcome Miss Kelly Sharon. All righty, by show of sheeps, bah. How many animal lovers do we have in the house tonight? Yeah. All right, this is a good flock. I like it, I like it. As a lover of our furry friends, uh, I feel like maybe my senses are heightened, but um, I am constantly seeing things on Facebook like, oh, it was a rough day, you need a word of encouragement, or post a pic of a, of a cute animal, I'm telling you. Oh, those baby pigs get me every time. And what about, you know, I love supporting the Girl Scouts, but I'm so much more inclined to go check out the puppies for adoption in front of the Petco. I mean, a box of Thin Mints to support the girls in green, okay. But, oh, those puppies. And let's be honest with ourselves and with each other, men, women and children. You can't keep a dry eye in the beginning of Lion King, the animals prancing around, so excited for the arrival of Simba. And if you, are, if you do keep a dry eye, you're a liar. <laughs> and, and if those scenarios, if you cannot identify with those scenarios, I invite you to leave now, because clearly you have no heart. Uh, I can identify with all of those scenarios, but they are relatively transactional. What I like to do on a rough day is to put on a pair of flannel pajamas, jump into a cuddle puddle with Josie and Jasper the Wonder Dogs. But my real favorite thing is to oh, snuggle the velvet muzzle of my sweet horse buddy and let the constant of his breath and those silly whiskers just take all of my troubles. Oh, so good. The morning of my first tonic-clonic seizure, my sweet collie dog, Mac, came tearing into my bedroom, making an un, like, never, be heard, never before heard noise. It was like a dog screaming. Nobody knew what was going on, but shortly thereafter, after having been to multiple neurologists and through many tests, I was diagnosed with primary generalized epilepsy. My normal changed. My family's normal changed. I don't remember a time in my life where I didn't love animals, but it's rare that I remember a time in my life uh, not having epilepsy. So basically, the first 10 years of my life, I was considered normal. Now that can be translated relatively loosely. Uh, you know, some lady who comes out and asks for a sheep's bar. <laughs> I'm normal, I promise. <laughs> But anyway, uh, I, I come from a family of fun, a family who's always uh, supported passions and, and really leaning into those. And I became an equine enthusiast at the age of five when I met Coco the Pony. One of my previous horses, though, Harbor Star, he had a fantastic racing career prior to entering my life. Uh, he had a bid to the Kentucky Derby, um, but before the race, he had a, a career-ending, end, almost life-ending injury. Uh, they performed surgery on him at Cornell University, where he was confined to a 12 by 12 foot stall for almost eight months. Ugh, it's awful. Um, but I normally paint Harbor Star as this like sweet horse, this kind, loving animal, but, but honestly, he's a total jerk. Uh, he will try and kick you and bite you anytime possible. Uh, but 
I can kind of identify with Harbor on this level a little bit. Like Harbor was at the height of his game. He was a big shot. He was the horse that ran with heart. When I was diagnosed with epilepsy, I was the big shot on the elementary school campus. <laughs> I was wearing a training bra and deodorant already. <laughs> and this sounds silly, but I was a cool kid. My body was going to start doing weird things soon already. And now adding in seizures? No! Those the most inopportune time. Uh. So while Harper and I had some very dissimilar physical circumstances, the unknowns, the diagnosis, the testing, oh, just the, the treatment processes were similar. And the emotions that I, I held toward this epilepsy and this new thing, this change in my normal, I, I felt a lot of things, sadness, bitterness, straight up rage. But thankfully, there was hope. I rode Harbor for over 10 years, and that is a lot of miles and time logged in a saddle. And thankfully, my seizures are pretty well controlled, but I have indeed had two seizures while riding. Both of those seizures were in a lesson and also at a full canter. And for those of you who are not horse people, a canter is a steady run. Yep, whoop. <laughs> That's right. Um, so Harbor, I remember, had gone into this beautiful canter, a very rhythmic canter. And when I came to, I didn't know what was going on except that my trainer was next to me and Harbor Star's hooves were like cement in the ground. I was still miraculously on his back. <clears throat> yeah. And I didn't know what was going on besides the fact that Harbor Star had done the most gentle canter to halt transition ever. And gentle is not a word in Harbor's vocabulary. I still struggle a lot with my emotions around my epilepsy. I'm not normal. I don't drive. I'm not normal. I take 12 pills at night. I'm not normal. I can't take a bubble bath without having a chaperone. Why me? And then after I partake in this toxic charcuterie of emotions, I remember sweet, screaming collie dog Mac who knew what to do, just by instinct, some amazing Timmy's in the well, gotta go get her. <laughs> and then dear Harbor Star, whose normal was wrecked, who understood, we got each other, we had a connection, we didn't speak the same language, but we connected. What a pair we made. He had a broken spirit, I had a broken spirit. The cool kid at school starts having seizures. It shatters your confidence. You're normal. It's not normal anymore. But I ask you to examine your normal. How do you reset? And if it's a cuddle puddle you need, you bring the rocky road. I've got the wonder dogs. Now I'm going to ask you one last time, by show of sheep's bath, <laughs> yep, yeah, we're doing this. <laughs> well, you're, first off, let me, let me say this. The fact that I'm an animal lover may have changed, like the perspective may have changed a little bit. Uh, it is very much my normal, because they're very, in, their instincts have truly changed my life and really touched me in a different sort of way. Um, but again, let's do this. <laughs> My show of sheep's ba, just in case you need to change that answer. How many, how many animal lovers do we have in the house tonight? <laughs> yes!
Yes. Well done.